Hey, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. You know, now's as good a time as any to talk about what I do to frogs, how I modify them uh, to help take more of the bites that you get and turn them into fish in the boat. Uh, frogs have a bad reputation for losing fish. And, uh, you know, a lot of that just comes from anglers not understanding the frog, not understanding what to do with it. Uh, there are very few, really there are no frogs that I take right out of the package and start fishing with them. Uh, let me grab a couple of frogs here and I'll show you some of the things I do. Uh, we got a Bobby's Perfect, a River to Sea Spitting Wah, I've got a bully wah tied on the rod. There's a coppers. Um, there are a couple of simple things that you can do that will help you put more fish in the boat. And I do it to every single frog. The first two things that I do that, I, that applies to everything is first I trim the legs. So when you first get a frog, take it out of the package, you can see the legs are really long. It looks good in the water, but it also gives fish that are gonna come up and strike at the bait a lot more to hold on to other than the hooks. A lot of the times I get a hold of those legs, pull that frog down. Uh, when you set, obviously you never have a chance. So the first thing I do is I trim up the legs. I mean, you can see the difference. I cut them pretty short. Uh, it's like that with all my frogs. They're all short. That's gonna help you get those fish Instead of targeting back in the back, they don't have as much back here to bite. So when they come up, they have a tendency to get the whole frog instead of just the legs. The second thing that I do, and this is by far the most important for anybody fishing a frog, is when frogs are designed, they're designed to be weedless, right? Most people fish them on mats. Uh, I generally don't. I fish them around grass a lot, but I also fish them in open water. But it's critical to deal with these hooks because when they're designed to be weedless, that's inherently going to miss some fish. So what I'll do is I take that hook, that's a stock hook, hopefully you can see that. This is the spitting wall. And I talked about showing you guys how to modify this frog like a year ago and never got around to it. So this is one that's stock. This is one that I've modified. Now I don't know if you guys can see the differences or not, but basically what I do is I'll take my hooks, which you can see are tipped in, and they're also tipped down into the body. Helps it be more weedless. I tip them slightly up, and then I tip them out a lot. And I do it with all my frogs. So what you'll see is that most frogs, when they come out of the package, have that tip in. I, I don't completely straighten them out, but I bend them out quite a ways, almost to where they're, they're out parallel to each other instead of kicked way in like an EWG style hook. They're more parallel. What that's going to do is uh, allow that hook to be exposed uh, much sooner. So a stock bait has to be very, very compressed and the fish has to have it fully engulfed before you've got hook exposure. Once they're bent out, all they have to do is touch that thing. Either way, and they've got hook exposure. That's going to put more fish in the boat for you. Uh, obviously, you want your frog to be weedless, so you need to decide how far out you want to bend them, but bending them out is critical. Uh, with that spitting wall, I talked about that a lot. In the beginning, when they were tipped way in, it was only the big fish that I would hook. I'd miss a lot of the smaller fish. Once I started tipping them out and tipping them up, I put so many more fish in the boat. You know, you can take a, a frog with a reputation for a horrible hookup ratio and get to where you're hooking 70, 80, 90 plus percent of your bites uh, because they're really not missing the frog. They're getting the frog, they're just not compressing it the right way to get the hook. So hopefully those tips help you. You know, there are some other things that are important about a frog too. You need to understand how to work them. 
uh, how to walk them, that's critical. I'm gonna shoot some video on that stuff as well, but for now I'm gonna get back to fishing. Hope this helps you, have a great day. <laughs> She's way better than